Kia ora koutou, uh, Scott Taylor here, uh, PSA National Organiser for Oranga Tamariki. So this is podcast number two. Um, so this week we had a series of uh, meetings with Oranga Tamariki. Being a member of the PSA means that members can affect real change, change in the workplace, so they not only for uh, better their own industrial um, needs, but also uh, advance their professional practice. So recently we had our FGC coordinators meeting with Oranga Tamariki and um, I'm going to introduce Rob Teppet, our national convener, to speak on some of the key points that members raised and also some of the um, outcomes and discussion points. Thanks Rob. Kia ora koutou, Family Group Crawfords coordinators. They feel like they've been left out of the loop for quite a while. Uh, when the CYPNF Act came into play in 1989, it was a position that was seen to be really critical to engaging communities in whānau. And uh, of late, there's a feeling with coordinators that they've been left out, that they've uh, lost status and remuneration. And with that in mind, the PSA has convened a working group to look at the job description that currently exists and is it actually accurate, is it capturing all the tasks that they actually do, in particular those soft skills, those skills that are required to make the difference between engagement and getting positive outcomes for families and children. And whether uh, that's been recognised and the remuneration that's been currently uh, offered for these roles. So we're quite happy that we've had a productive uh, experience in that, in that, in discussing that, and we're sort of landing on the position that maybe we need to have a core generic uh, JD that captures those skills, but it's associated with addendums that ca uh, cover off the youth justice and care and protection context. So we are happy to with that progress, but we still want to see the final details. And once we get the JD agreed on, we'll go to job sizing to see whether we can um, do something about the remuneration because it needs to be lifted. However, one of the issues that we are conscious of in terms of job sizing is that we need to have a methodology that takes account of the soft skills that are implicit in these roles. So we will be watching uh, Oranga Tamaraki closely on that point and uh, watch the space. Hi, um, this is the National Delegate Team for Residences Across the Country. My name is Alistair Teague, I'm the National Delegate for Care and Protection Residences and Group Homes from Pukatai, New Zealand. Kia ora, I also work down in Pukatai, New Zealand, and my name is Manu Hunter, and I am the Virunanga National Delegate. Kia ora, I'm Paula Cross, and I'm the National Delegate for YJ Residences in Romato. I'm based at Kura Waimanaki, Justice North in Auckland. This is my colleague Lee. Tēnā koutou, I'm Lee Ashford Nuku. I hail from Manawatu, uh, Te Oriri Atatonga Residences. I'm the Runanga National Delegate for Remand Homes as well. So we had a really great meeting today with Oranga Tamariki and a lot of issues and things came out of that. So Paula, take us away. <laughs> so on a quarterly basis we have the residence meetings held here in Wellington and Bit sad that we've had a few that we've missed, but we've caught up with a lot of business today, which has been awesome. So for our members out there at all of our residences and um, remand homes, I'm really pleased to say that we're moving forward finally, and that some of the traction that we needed around some questions that have been raised by you as individuals that we've taken through your managers and then through to the residence meetings and now to this YJ residence meeting with OT um, GMs has been quite successful today. We've had a chance to meet with Richard Dagger, who is the HR representative. So we've got a lot of traction now around your pay and conditions that you guys have been asking a lot of questions about. Um, there's some other things that are happening and some exciting things that will be coming in the next 12 months. So watch the podcast going forward and let's bring you some good news as we go forward. But today was really successful from this point. And thanks to my two colleagues and Alistair, who I'm sorry has had to leave to catch his flight back to Dunedin. Um, we're looking forward to the next one. So, Manu? Definitely. You know, we, uh, we spoke a lot today in our meeting around Section 7AA, uh, specifically around how uh, the department is looking at Māori staffing. 
so that staffing on the floor, also uh, staffing and management, so Māori being able to manage Māori, uh, and, um, and also those Māori staff being able to look after our Māori tamariki. We know that they primarily are Māori, and so it's that was something that's really important and not something that's consistent across the residences. So we've asked for if we could get some statistics around that just, mm. to, just to see uh, what we're working with yes. uh, in the first instance. Uh, and also, you know, just around things that are any plans that are in the making around how they've been culturally considered. Uh, we know primarily what we're hoping, you know, is that the young children that come into the residences that they're able to transition back to the community, you know, back to their whānau, hapu and iwi is ideal, the ideal place for them. So any services that are, you know, that or plans for our tamariki, they should really be, they should really be centred around the same kind of services that can be provided outside by those whānau, hapu and iwi. They need to connect so that there's not this disconnect we have one way of doing things here and one way of doing things here. And so that was something that was really important for us in that, in that te ao Māori space, yeah. Mm. So one of the other things that came out of today's meeting is around what's happening with our staff, especially around incidences and how we're supporting them. So be aware that the Health, Safety and Security Steering Committee meeting is this Thursday. So our input from this group as well will be placed there. And we'll be talking about the tour track system that's going to update for our night staff. We're talking about our incident levels and about our debriefing policies around that as well. We've also been really lucky that we've um, had some security issues within the residences. So the CCTV footage and monitoring program that's going to be coming out, we've had a good discussion about that today as well. So we're looking forward to some really good work mm -hmm. coming forward. Yeah. Yeah. We've, also, we've also been able to talk about some of those um, uh, with health and safety, the psychological issues that you know are really redundant. We haven't been able to see any information on them at all. You know, no one's collecting really collecting data on it, and yet we know that there's a cumulative harm when every day you're turning up to work the same tamariki and sometimes experiencing you know the same difficulties that that can form, you know, quite, that can make a huge impact on you, you know, to the point where you can turn up to work and you can be quite shaky even, you know, after an experience. And just looking at that harm and how that, you know, how that affects um, our members and residences is something that's hugely important for us and something that we, I think, is, is going to be quite a new space to work into and to question, eh? Mm. And I think it's about the fact that our next level, which is the SEM meetings that are going on this week as well, so there'll be a few more podcasts coming from some of the team around what they've achieved this week, especially with some of the terms and conditions from our collective agreement going forward. So it's going to be really good work over the next three to six months, so watch the space. Accompanying these podcasts, we're actually going to be putting out a newsletter uh, for all our PSA members, and there'll be quite a lot more information uh, that will be going into that, so it'll be great if you can get your hands on those and have a good read. So then you'll be kept up to date on what's watching this space. We'll accept the feedback too, so that we know what else we can do to support you guys going forward. Exactly. So contact your local PSA delegates within your residences, and or Lee and myself mm -hmm. at the YJ level, or Manu and Alistair in the CMP level. We look forward to continuing this. Kia ora. Kia ora.